Most likely you use Gmail or have a Google account to access all the extensive productivity apps and tools that Google offers for free. Now it's super important that you have the highest level of security on your Google account to protect your privacy information and your business from the rapidly increasing rapidly common cyber attacks happening all around the world. Hey team, Stuart here, welcome back to another brief yet important tutorial. Today I'll be quickly walking you through how you can simply secure and protect your Google account from potential hackers in just a few short steps. Okay, now before we launch into this brief tutorial, consider subscribing if you haven't done so already or if you're new to this channel and that way you'll stay updated with actionable videos and tutorials designed to equip you with the skills, knowledge and tools to grow your small business online. And with that out of the way, let's go ahead and protect your Google account. <music> Okay, so let's go ahead and secure our Google account. Now to do that, what we can do is head over to our Gmail account by heading over to mail.google.com and then to head over to our Google account, what we can do is navigate over to our Google apps within Gmail, then simply navigate over to account and click here. Now, the other alternative to arrive at your Google account is to type in myaccount.google.com and that will take you to your Google account. What you might have to do is log in with your Gmail and password. Okay, so once you've arrived here, what we want to do is navigate over to security on the left hand side and then navigate down to sign into Google. Now this is where you want to turn on two step verification and use your phone to sign in. Now how two-step verification works is you'll enter your password when you want to sign into your Google account, your Gmail for example, or another application, and then following entering your password, you'll be asked for something else. This could be a code sent via your phone as a text message, or it could be a voice call or another security option. Basically, there are two steps to verify your Google account. Now when you have two-step verification turned on, this basically makes it nearly impossible for hackers to hack your Google account. And then above two-step verification, make sure that you use your phone to sign in. This is a simple process. Basically, when you try and sign in to your Google account, Gmail or other app, Google is going to send information to your phone to verify access into your account. So go ahead and turn these two options on. Then if we scroll down, we have ways that we can verify that it's you. What you wanna do is come down and add your recovery phone number and then a recovery email address. Basically, if you lose any of your information, you might lose your phone, you might lose your password, then at least you have a backup method to sign in and create a new password. Okay, now my last tip to securing your Google account is to make sure you have a strong password. Many people use their name, date of birth, or a very simple or short password. What you want to do is create a unique password between all your different accounts. Make sure you have uppercase, lowercase symbols and numbers within your password. And then if you have a strong password, you use your phone to sign in, you have two-step verification turned on, and then you've backed up your account with a recovery phone number and recovery email, then this is all going to work towards protecting your account from potential hackers. And there we have it guys, that is it for today's brief tutorial helping you protect your Google account. Now if you have any questions about this tutorial make sure to pop them down below and with that said thank you so much for watching this video all the way through to the end. If you got value make sure you leave a like below this video, subscribe to the channel and that way I'll see you in the next video. Take care guys. Mm -hmm.